For the past seven years, a home in Richfield has gone all out for Halloween. And this here is no different. This morning, Kylie is live at Peterson's Purgatory. Good name, Kylie. Yeah, and uh, it kind of suits it here. We've got William and Liz who have been doing this for about six or seven years now. It's incredible and incredibly creepy. So, William, where did the idea come from to kind of put it together like this? You know, I just really always liked Halloween. Uh, it's my birthday month, and we really like to come out and have a lot of fun and set things up for the neighborhood, and we just have, you know, an awesome time every year. Absolutely. You can see why. And, Liz, I mean, this is so... There's Okay, I'm sorry. There's something behind us that's just like... Robin, can you show what's happening over there? Liz, what is that? It's beyond creeping me out. Oh, that's our that's our favorite little girl. Uh, <laughs> she scares most adult men away. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and she only swings on Halloween, so she's, she's a special addition. <laughs> so this, what you guys have done here is really fun. We're in a rich field, and I know that you guys, you want kids to come out for Halloween and to enjoy this. Yes, we love for them to come out and trick or treat. We want to be that house. Like every neighborhood has had that cool house. My husband had one growing <laughs> up. We had one, and we want to be that house. People do slow drive-bys all the time, and Tonight is our night. <laughs> it is. You've been kind of waiting for this. William, how long did it take to get this all set up? You know, we start the end of September and slowly kind of add and try to really finish it off by MEA weekend. So it's a labor of love, but it's up and looking great, and we are so excited. <laughs> yeah, it looks incredible. So when it comes to actual Halloween night, the night we've been waiting for, you're giving out full-size candy bars. Is that right? We are, but there is a catch. You have to make it to the front door on your own two feet to get the candy bar. <laughs> and there's a lot going on here. Some kids don't make it, I got to tell you. Yeah, I believe it. Okay, Liz, walk us through some of the stuff that you have here. Well, we have a giant spider right over here who is a new addition, along with our glowing spider egg pods. We have our pumpkin lit path, especially with our little doll here. We have a wall of souls up front and some famous horror guests on the garage as well. Uh, something new every year. What's fun about this for you? I just like building it and the creativity you get to do. You know, there's stuff you can always buy, but then no one can make a makes a custom Peterson's Purgatory sign, so <laughs> we might as well. And you can like you on Facebook, is that right too? Yep, Peterson's Purgatory on Facebook. Awesome, and is that kind of the best way to find out? Because what's your, are we okay giving out your address, I'm assuming, to let people come out and enjoy this? Yeah, absolutely. So we're on the 6300 block of 12th Avenue South in Richfield. Come on out tonight with the kids to trick or treat, and we're looking forward to seeing everyone out here. But beware that it's definitely very spooky, right? <laughs> that's right, that's right. It's it's not for the super young. They may need the, the parent assist to get to the front door, for sure. Really fun. Okay, but also, guys, that thing just keeps like, it's like just repeatedly like, la, 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 la. Oh, it sounds creepy yeah. from even here. Here, can you hear it? Let me see if I can come over. We want to hear it more? I feel like. No. I don't no. like it. <laughs> for a full size candy bar, I think it's probably worth going for it. Yeah, you know? that would be. Oh, absolutely, for the yeah, full size. marker. Absolutely. <laughs> so fun. We love that they do this. What a great tradition for that neighborhood, Kylie. And be careful out there. I'm a little nervous, Kylie. Yeah, we'll try. That's right. Keep an eye on her, Robin. Because <laughs> She has one worry. hour. One That's hour right. to go. Will she make it? <laughs> Purgatory. He did the monster man. The monster man. It is 624 now. For seven years, a home in Richfield has been going above and beyond for Halloween, getting more than 150 trick-or-treaters each year. And like any good attraction, new frightening things are added each year. Uh, how scary can it be when you've got Kylie at this uh, display in Richfield, Peterson's Purgatory? I mean, you're, you're making it much less scary, Kylie. Am I? I? Well, you've been with me in a haunted house. I don't that, necessarily <laughs> handle the scary very well. No, um, no. You are easy to yeah. scare, for sure. Easy to freak out. But luckily, nothing's jumping out at me here, so that's good news. At least just keep looking behind us. But we've got William and Liz, the creators of this amazing Halloween adventure. Good morning, William. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's a little cold, but yeah. I'm pumped for the big day. <laughs> There's one day that's Halloween, and it's today, and I am so excited. I can tell by just the decorating that you guys have done. Tell me about where this idea came from to start doing it. You know, it really just started from a gal in my neighborhood, a mom that dressed up as a witch, and she was really creepy on Halloween. 
And from that moment on, I'm like, I want to be that house when I grow up. <laughs> Guess what? I'm growing up and we are definitely that house. You are absolutely that house. I mean, you could see this even when I was driving in this morning from blocks away. Liz, you can see the glow that's happening. So oh, yeah. uh, you guys have been very successful. Is, it, is this just like a passion for you? It is. Fall is our favorite time of year. October is my husband's birthday month. So it's it's all about Halloween. Uh, October is is pretty much just all for today. Absolutely. Okay, t tell us some of the stuff that we have here, some of the highlights. Well, we have a giant spider that's out in front of our uh, crypt area. We have a keeper's crypt with some very famous inhabitants Ooh. from horror movies. So, a little trivia over there. We have a wall of souls right by the front <laughs> door that's brand new. Um, we have our bony ponies, Rufus and Sparkle Pony. Yeah, the ponies, uh, <laughs> a pony is a, a generous word. We got like a half a pony, very yes. creepy. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> We've got Wolfman, we've got Pinhead, and then our sign, which we're very proud of. Woodpeckers don't like it so much, but <laughs> Peterson's Purgatory announcing it to everybody. It's awesome. William, I know that a lot of kids must get scared by this, but if they make it to the front door, you say that there's a pretty good trick-or-treating prize. That's right. If you can get there on your own two feet, right. there's a full-size candy bar waiting for you. So for the brave, they'll be well rewarded for sure. <laughs> okay, where can people come and find you guys tonight? So we're on the 6300 block at 12th Avenue South in Richfield, and usually trick-or-treaters start 6, 630, and we go until 930 or so. So we hope to see everyone out for trick-or-treating. I have a feeling you guys are going to have a lot of visitors for later on tonight. Uh, but remember, you guys, you have to make it on your own two feet. So Jason, you can't hop into Alyssa's arms. Okay. You can't have her carry you the rest of the way yeah. it won't work it's you won't get your candy you know i i, know. I also scare uh, scare easily so yeah it's true yeah all right thanks kylie what can you i do? love how excited <laughs> they are about it too there's only one day and it's here it's officially here very Halloween. cool very cool well we do